everybody. My name is Bailey. Um, I am with the Million Dollar Etsy shop. Uh, you might know me as Ring Crush founder. Um, Ring Crush, as a lot of you know, is one of the biggest Etsy shops. And I am here to show you my other little bitty side project, which is another Etsy shop that I've made a, about a month ago. Um, I made this shop as a way to sell some of my scraps from uh, my main shop and also kind of as a way to show you guys that it doesn't really matter what you're selling. Um, a lot of people have said, maybe I got lucky, I was at the right place at the right time, or, you know, it's it, I like the, it's the pieces that I'm selling are so unique, that's why I'm doing well on Etsy or this and that. Um, and I'm, 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 I made this shop to show you guys kind of that it doesn't really matter what you're selling. If you do it right, you can make some money on Etsy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and show you this little shop that I've made um, and to show you that it doesn't matter what you're selling. Um, if you are from jewelers helping jewelers or just the jewelry trade in, in general, I'm sure you'll be able to recognize a lot of these materials is kind of junk. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like the lowest grade um, minerals and <laughs> I can't even really call them gemstones. They're like, like for example, these emeralds are kind of very low grade emeralds. They're even too low grade for me to use in my ring crush jewelry, but I sell them. Um, same thing with these sapphires. They are very opaque, <laughs> um, but they have a little bit of blue and I, I do sell them. I sell them to crystal healing people. I sell them to crafters. Um, these are our yellow diamonds, believe it or not. Um, they're itty bitty. These are like one millimeter. I, I can't use them. They're, they're so small that they're blurry in this picture, but I sell them. Um, and I'll show you my uh, my shop. Let's, let's see. I've got I've been on here since 2018. So I started at the end of 2018. I've sold 129 things, um, mostly opals, I believe. Yeah. Um, as you can see, if you type in opal, this is something I'm very proud of. Opal is a very competitive niche on Etsy. And I am, as you can see, there are 300,000 results. And my new shop is the number one result right now. Um, above, I mean, there's not a lot of stuff on here. My other shop is also doing well with Opal Niche. So it's clearly something that, well, this is an ad. It doesn't really count if you pay for it, but <laughs> this is free. This is not an ad. This is this new shop. So, um, and I'll go, I'll, I'll show you this new shop and hopefully go over some of the things that I'm doing, um, to sell something that's free. This is something that I get, you know, for free in my shop. And, you know, if you are in the jewelry trade, I'm sure you have breakouts and other things that, you know, are just sitting around that you could probably dump on Etsy for free in the material sector. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and go into shop manager and show you that I'm not lying. Um, this isn't a lot of money. I know this is all time revenue. This is $1,400, but um, it's it takes me two minutes a day in effort. I have no customer service. I think I've like less than 10 conversations total. This is all, all I've had to do it, do, and it's all sales. So, um, no effort at all. Um, the pictures I took with my iPhone anyway. So let's go back to dashboard and I'll show you that I'm not lying. Um, so we'll do the stats here. Um, I started, oh, I started in October. So I had six orders in October. As you can see, we've been growing, um, 45 orders in January. So and mostly opals and let's see all of our searches, rough gemstones, Australian opal. We've been selling a little bit of aquamarine and stuff too. So, all right. And let's see. Yeah. So anyways, we'll go into listings and I'll show you what I've been doing. Actually, I'll do it from the shop so you can see it from y'all's perspective. So this is kind of the bare minimum. This is kind of the same advice I give to most of the people who are trying to get started on Etsy. So as you can see, a, a very beautiful banner. Um, I actually am already sold out of this gemstone, but it doesn't matter. This is kind of the essence of my shop. I had trouble selling this, 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 this stone as a ring on my ring crush shop, um, but I had no trouble selling it as a gemstone. So um, I got, I'm already sold out of those, but I have a few of the other stones in the same shape, but it made a really great banner. So as you can see, as you come in here, it's very eye catching. Uh, my shop picture is just a listing photo. I'm sure you could put more effort into that, but you don't need to. 
Um, one thing that I'm very proud of that, you know, you don't need to spend a lot of time in this, but this is something that I'm very proud of doing. Raw Gemstone as my shop name, and I'm shocked that this wasn't taken. And the reason that I chose this name is if you are shopping for raw gemstones on Etsy, right? Someone types in raw gemstones, right? So they type that in. Okay. Okay. Let's say they type in, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, I messed this up a little bit. Let's say they're, they type in raw gemstone, right? Hmm. Did you mean the shop raw gemstone? Oh my gosh. This is like free advertisement for me. <laughs> all right. I can't believe that the shop name was available with how old Etsy is. <laughs> all right. So you can click that and then it goes to here. Can you believe it? I'm like, whoa, I can't believe that was available. So if you can find something clever, like the most commonly searched thing in your industry, like let's say you sell antique jewelry, <laughs> maybe that shop name is available. Let's see. It won't be after I make this video. Oh, it probably is because it's not coming up. <laughs> I mean, let's see. Etsy.com slash shop slash antique jewelry. No one has that shop name, so you need to y'all need to jump on that like right now. There is no one with the shop name antique jewelry. <laughs> All right. What about like diamond jewelry? This is the same thing, you guys. Like, that is like some million dollar ideas right there. Um, I hope I'm recording because I'm like laughing so hard at this. Um, <coughs> in fact, let's uh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for you guys. I'm laughing so hard. Oh man. Look at that. Like, I mean, it, seriously, if someone types in antique jewelry before all of these pictures, it's gonna say, Did you mean the shop? Antique jewelry. I'm sure Etsy's gonna fix this hack now that I've made this video, but uh yeah, that's a hack. Um and people think you've gotta have this like really clever, cute, like romantic shop name, but I mean People don't really care. Like, that's why I always say, like, you don't need to, like, have this romantic name. Like, people don't care that much. In fact, like, sometimes you got to think outside the box and, and maybe uh, <laughs> be a little clever and, you know, you know, use use the Etsy system in your favor, I guess. But anyways, I'll go back to my shop and, um, <laughs> and I lost lost track. Um, oh, man, lost track of what I was doing. But anyways. So this is my shop and this is what I've been doing. Anyways, so like as, as I tell most of y'all to do, do a picture. I probably should zoom this in on my face a little bit um, so people can see that I'm not this little ghost person. Um, <laughs> you see, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a person at least, but I give a little announcement of what I'm, what I'm doing. It's not a lot of effort in here. Um, I, if I were you, I would, I mean, a shop announcement should, should probably like, you can open this up in this huge long thing, but I think it should be like a Twitter announcement. Like it should only be one or two lines, something that, you know, people can get the gist immediately. Um, reviews, make sure that you are a good person and your reviews are great. And if you have any bad reviews, respond immediately. Luckily that, um, I haven't had any bad reviews yet. I tend to, since I sell gemstones, one of the tricks that I, like to do is I overprice my stuff a little bit and what I do is I always ship extra. Um, I think that's why I don't have any bad reviews is instead of shipping five, I sell these in five gram bushels or whatever you call it, bags, <laughs> not bushels. Um, and I always send like seven grams or eight grams. Um, it's just something that I do because I know that when you include shipping in here, it makes this like really expensive and you know, the thing about raw stones is you don't really know what you're going to get. And when I do random scoops, it, 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 it varies so much from scoop to scoop. So, and if I sell an amethyst per stone, I'll send two instead of one. And just the fact of the matter is this is all free and the cost has already been absorbed in my main shop. So I always send extra and sometimes I'll send samples and freebies and stuff like that. Um, like others, if someone buys an amethyst, I might send a citrine too. Um, all right, guys, I hope um, diving into my other shop was helpful and inspiring. I would like to do another shop selling something else to <laughs> in the future to show you that it's it's not just what you sell. It's how you sell it. Um, maybe I'll get into painting at some point. I really love painting and I'll show you that I can do that, too. 
Um, I think if I put a little bit more passion into the gemstones and I was actually sourcing a lot more materials, I think I'm only selling like 24 items or something like that. Um, I think if I could get that up to 200 items or even 2000 items, you could really scale that shop. Um, cause I'm only covering a few keywords, especially in the raw gemstone. If I started doing more faceted stones and, um, some more expensive stones and stuff like that. That is a very easy to scale niche. Um, and I don't mind y'all copying that niche because it's not something I have my heart into. You can feel free to dissect it if you want and ask me questions. Um, and yeah, um, uh, the material niche in, in Etsy is one of the biggest niches. There are more creators than buyers. <laughs> so that is something to take into consideration if you want to make a lot of money on Etsy. Um, definitely look into the material market. I, I spend a lot of money on Etsy buying parts and pieces for our jewelry company. Um, it's really easy to buy and source stuff on Etsy. Um, yeah, so I would definitely, I definitely think that's a scalable idea. And I kind of did that as a pet product. Like I said, my passion and my heart's not really in it. I'm not, I, I spend maybe five minutes a day and I've already made almost $2,000 doing that. And it's growing on its own. I, like I said, um, shops are exponential. If you put, if you lay the groundwork, in the SEO, it'll start to creep up in the search results on its own. As you can see in the beginning, Opal, I have the number one spot for Opal, um, even above my ring crush shop, simply with SEO work and um, reasonable photography. Like I said, you don't need to have the best photography to creep up in the search results. You need really good SEO. And um, you can check out my title and you can view the tags at the bottom of the listing. Um, by scrolling all the way down and see how I did those. But in general, my tags are the same as the title. I just kind of rearrange it um, and do that, do it that way. But yeah, and um, like I said before, you can translate the advice in this video to any niche, but if it's confusing, feel free to comment below and I would be more than happy to um, translate it for you. Just let me know if you're into printmaking, painting, um, antiques, materials. I am more than happy to take a look at your shop. And if it's more than just a simple question, I can maybe do a shop review and go into SEO tags and titles into more detail. Um, Cause I know it's a little tricky, um, but I promise you there is a lot of money to be made on Etsy and I promise that you can do it. So bye. If you like it, please subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. Bye.